as spring begins, there are two emerging weeds that need to be eliminated before they make seed. We're discussing more on that. Uh, the burr clover and the bed straw. Uh, we're talking about those two with Dr. Joe Willis with the LSU Ag Center. Uh, Dr. Joe's out there right now braving those colder temperatures as you just heard Hannah <laughs> talking about there. It's getting a little bit colder out there and we're talking about weeds. So Dr. Joe, good morning. Let's get right into it. You talk to us a lot about plants that we want to take care of and but like today you want to talk about some of the plants we want to get rid of. Let's go over what those are, Dr. Joe. Yeah, two of them that are really, to me, a big nuisance in the, in the area are burr clover and bed straw. And what makes them so bad are their seeds that they make. Um, both of them have spikes on the seeds and they're sticky. One of them is very painful. The other has soft spikes, but they stick to everything. That's how they spread. And if you have pets, you really know what I'm talking about because they will embed themselves deeply in the fur and that, they're pretty hard to get out. Take some patience and a, a dog that doesn't mind a little hugging on the fur every now and then. But those are two we really want to get rid of. And, and are you able to identify a couple of them for us? The burr clover, the bed straw, those weeds, and, and, and talk about what, what makes them particularly a nuisance and, and possibly a nuisance spe specifically this time of year. Well, this time of year, this, this start with the bed straw. This is bed straw. And you can see it, it's fairly easy to identify. Probably everyone's seen it. It has this whirl of, of lanceolate or narrow leaves. And then in each of those leaf axles, it'll produce very tiny flowers. And these tiny flowers will make seeds. And one plant can grow over six feet long and produce over 3,000 seeds. And another common name for the bed straw is uh, sticky weed or Velcro mm. weed or sticky willy, as you can see. <laughs> it there sticks. You there you go. And, and the stickiness is because it has covered with tiny little hairs with a hook on them, kind of like Velcro. So it's not sticky like glue, it's sticky like Velcro, and they mm. will stick to everything. And that can be obviously a nuisance for your garden and what have you. And, and um, exactly, uh, I, you just gave a good example of how to recognize it, but what's the best way to get rid of it and control it if it's in your garden or if it's uh, uh, wherever it may grow? Well, it pulls off real easily, which is a nice thing about it. And it sticks to you, so you almost don't even have to grab it. You can pull it out but it has very thin stem. So usually it will break off and leave the roots in the ground and those will sprout back. So if you're pulling it out by hand, you're gonna be repeating that process on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And you can also though kill it with herbicides. Uh, some people don't like herbicides. Some people use them a lot. That's up to the person. But a broad spectrum herbicide will kill both bed straw and the burr clover. But there are some materials you can get to spray uh, if it's in your lawn that will kill the weed, you see it sticks to me, but it won't <laughs> kill your grass. And one of those, something like this. It's very common. You can easily find it in uh, most garden centers or big mm -hmm. box stores. And <laughs> this will really control both those weeds along with 460 other weeds. So this is something good to have in your arsenal. Gotcha. Well, Dr. Joe, we can see the winds whipping out there too. Just lost Dr. Joe's patented hat. I hope it didn't go down the street. But hey, listen, is that is that burr clover there real quick that we're looking now, at or is, is that still bed straw? This is the regular uh, burr clover. This one is the spotted burr clover you can see. And and what makes this one really, really bad is the, the spikes are hard and sharp. So mm. even if we step on them, they're going to hurt. So gotcha. get rid of these weeds before they make seed. Right now they're flowering. You see this one's covered with yellow flowers. Mm -hmm. Get them before they make their seed, and then you you're good. You want to get them. You want to get them before they start to hurt you. All right. Well, we always appreciate you. Dr. Joe Willis with the LSU Ag Center. Uh, we appreciate you showing us that, and I, love, I know people really appreciate your gardening tips. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks, Josh. Stay warm. Right. <laughs> you too. You too, sir.